Hello! Welcome back to the U.S. Blue Wave YouTube channel. And I am your host. My name is John Doe. And welcome to my show. Today we have a three dishes that we know that you're going to love uh, using the U.S. Blue Wave Air Fryer. 1700 watts of cooking power. It's an amazing machine that no kitchen should be without. Uh, just one of the great uh, things about this, uh, the air fryer is that we, it is able to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner with ease for all three. And just some simple ideas that I want to go ahead and show you, just to go ahead and show you how wonderful and how versatile the US Blue Wave 1700 watt air fryer is. I'm going to go ahead and make a few of the dishes that I love to have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So the first one is the onion and cheddar omelet. So it's a, one of those old fashioned favorites that I love making and it's super healthy, super fun. Uh, you can adjust it to however you like to make it. And the way that I make it is uh, with a lot of love and care, TLC. And to start off, of course, you need eggs. So I'm lucky I have my own chickens, but I'm not gonna use chickens for the uh, process for today. I'm going to use some store-bought white eggs. So let's go ahead and get these out of the refrigerator. Now, again, try to use something sanitary like the covered mixing bowls that I have. And as you can see, I've taken the liberty of pre-mixing my egg yolks and my egg whites. Now one of the things that you uh, people don't understand is how you mix them is very important. You want to make sure that the whites and the yolk mix together thoroughly so that you have more of a yellowish orange mixture not where you see a lot of separation between the white and the yolk. It's all thoroughly mixed and that will give you a better tasting omelet. So I have the ingredients for the omelet right here. We've got our cheddar cheese and we've got some butter to grease the pan. We've got our six inch pan that we're going to go ahead and put in our air fryer. We have our brush so that we can put some butter on, on our pan here. And of course I've taken the liberty to pre-chop the onions but I'll be able to show you the size and how big it is so that you can go ahead and chop it for yourself. If you like them bigger, great. If you don't, um, great. One more thing that I want to go ahead and add is that this 1700 watt air fryer from US Blue Wave is available right now on Amazon.com. You can order it. It's on sale right now. And with Christmas coming up, you're going to want to make sure that you order this uh, right away so that you can have one for your kitchen, give it away to your friends, give it away to your family. It makes a great gift, 100% guaranteed. So we have, let's go ahead and start with what we're going to put into our eggs. We're going to start with just a little bit of seasons, of some salt. I use Himalayan pink salt. You can do it to taste, but maybe about half a teaspoon. Now, if you have a peppercorn medley, that's what I like to use. I don't like to use regular black pepper. I like the way that the colors come out in the omelet. It's just as tasty as the black pepper, and it gives it a great flavor that I think is missing just by using the black pepper. So, let's go ahead and take our butter and our brush. We're going to go ahead and Make sure that we grease our pan for the omelet, okay, like so. So you want to just put a nice coating of butter. Don't be afraid to use a lot of butter because you would not like this to stick to the pan. So as we see here, we've got our nicely buttered pan. We've got our omelet. I'm going to go ahead and get the onions at this time that I, again, have taken the liberty to pre-chop. And uh, 
again, covered for safety. Now you can put as much as you want. You can put up to a half a cup. But for today, I think I'm just going to use about a quarter cup. Okay. So we've got our onions. We've got our salt and pepper. Now all we need is just a couple of dashes of soy sauce. And then you just mix it all up. Give it a nice mix. And then go ahead and pour your mixture into the pan. Now, let's go ahead and put this into our US Blue Wave air fryer, 1700 watts of cooking power. And we're going to set that right there. Now, one of the great functions that we have here for that just makes it so easy to use is that you have 10 settings and you can, they're preset, including the temperature and including what you're gonna be doing. So you have a french fry option, a wings option, pizza option, toast option, you have a warming function, you have a air fry, broil, bake, rotisserie, and you just have all these functions that you can modify how you wanna cook. But because it is an omelet, we're going to go ahead and use the bake, bake function, which is set at 350. So, let me see, there we go. There we go. And I'm going to do it for six minutes. So, I set the function. There we go. So, we're all locked in. Nice big analog dial for you to use. Now, as you can see, another great feature is a huge window that you can actually view your food while it's cooking. So we also have um, a functional, very beautiful light that will turn on and show you exactly what's going on with your omelet. So we've got our omelet cooking, we've got the six minutes set. So we're gonna go ahead and just make sure that we've got the rest of our supplies, which is our cheddar cheese, which is gonna go up on the top. So we've got now that we've got that cooking, we're going to go ahead and start working on the next uh, feature that we have for today, which is green uh, French beans. French beans are so delicious. I do not like green beans. Uh, I know my parents tried to get me to eat them, but it just didn't work out. But the way that I make them, when I do them for fresh with the air fryer, they come out great, they taste great, and they're beautifully green. Has a and it's a secret recipe that I'm going to share with you guys today. So, let's go ahead and get our beans, green beans out, the French beans that I took the liberty to go ahead and separate. So, let me go ahead and show you. This is what I have done. The uh, U.S. Blue Wave Air Fryer has this wonderful roasting pan. It's got some other uh, available uh, accessories but just want to go ahead and show you what you're looking at here the green beans I put a, a piece of foil on the bottom because what we're gonna do is we're going to paint these using olive oil so olive oil on top of your green beans okay just paint it and paint them just with some olive oil to taste you can just lightly brush the olive oil on top of the green beans, okay? And it gives it a really nice end result. So there we go, okay? So now the green beans are nice and oiled and ready for cooking. All right, let's put this down. Now what I've also done is I am going to put my favorite seasoning for green beans, some chopped garlic. And the garlic is pre-chopped. So I am going to go ahead and put that on top very liberally. Just spread that around a little bit so that the end result is 
We get a little bit of flavor, garlic flavor, on our green beans. And as garlic is an antioxidant, you will have flavor plus health benefit. Ooh wee. What a great what a great two in one. Alright. So now we've got our oiled and painted and garlic. Now I'm going to just put a tiny bit of the Himalayan pink salt on there. I use a grinder, but if you want to use a finer salt, by all means, go ahead and do that for yourself. Now, I am going to put another piece of foil to cover the top. I'm going to fold this over so that we can get a little seal there, a little there we go. So I've covered this here like so. So I've made a what's going to basically be a little tent for our vegetables. So let's go ahead and drop that second piece of foil down over our green beans, our French beans. And there we go. We are going to cover them nicely. Give them that nice little blanket so that they can use their moisture to help them cook. Alright, so with that done, we are going to move on to our checking our omelet. So we've still got some cooking time remaining on that. So we're going to go ahead and leave that for, let's see, another, check it, for another six minutes. So let me go ahead and do the easy function of adding time. So we're going to go ahead and add five more minutes. And it's already set. We're ready to go. All right. So what your end result for the vegetables is going to look very similar to this. And we're going to go ahead and work on our next project while I put this in the refrigerator. All right. And again, the US Blue Wave Air Fryer is available on Amazon.com right now. So please order it now to make sure that you have it for the holidays. Now our third dish is a going to be a baked salmon. Wow, look at how beautiful that is. Now I took the liberty of preparing it already to show you the nice beautiful colors of our salmon. And it's just a nice, nice cut. I'm glad that I was able to get it. Very fresh. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to get our basket. And I'm going to put it here. Now I have an extra long piece of foil because what I want to do and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the salmon and pinch it and bring it here so that it can bake in a nice proper fashion. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my fork that I have here. And I am going to, we're going to go ahead and put this right on our mat there. Okay. So, step one has been accomplished. We are ready to start adding to our baked salmon. So, what we have is our butter or olive oil. Whichever you choose, it would be great to have either one. So we'll go ahead and for this purpose, we're going to use olive oil. Because olive oil is healthy, er, healthy-ish. And we're just going to go ahead and put this on and make sure that it's nice and sealed. There we go. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to put our 
sea salt. And again, that's about a half a teaspoon or to your flavor, however you want it to taste. Now I'm going to add our peppercorn medley. Again, it gives such a beautiful color mixture. I like pepper. And so the peppercorns are wonderfully added there. So we have our pepper, we have our salt, we have our salmon. And for ultimate flavor, I have taken the liberty of adding some Uh, some chopped, finely chopped garlic that I pre-chopped, and this gives it a the salmon a very wonderful flavor. You can also use what I've seen, uh, and maybe I can do this on another episode. We can do the ranch and onion style, which is something that is near and dear to my heart. So let's go ahead and. Be generous with our garlic. All right. And let me put this way. So we're going to use a just a smidgen of lemon. Okay. And the lemon is going to just give it a little bit of sour. Not too much, unless you really enjoy the lemon flavor. But salmon and lemon go definitely go hand in hand. So here we are. Right now we've got this beautiful baked salmon. Well, not quite yet baked, but our salmon is ready for us to go ahead and put in our 1700 watt US Blue Wave air fryer. Plenty of power. What I'm going to do is take this end and fold it up here. I'm going to take the other end, I'm going to fold it there, I'm going to take these parts here and fold them over like so, take this other part and fold it like so. So the end result is going to be a nice sealed salmon ready to go in the air fryer. So we're all set for our salmon. We've got our omelet, which we want to go ahead and double check. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take our omelet out. And let me go ahead and put this on the back burner in our... Wow, it jumped out. Let me go ahead and put this away. And there we go. Hopefully the salmon won't jump as far as the uh, cream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so, well, who knew green, green beans could fly? All right, so, we're going to go ahead and try this over again. And uh, yeah, that one might, we might want to cut that one, but all right, so. Um, if we uh, go ahead and remember our things, our directions from last time was super easy. Just put them all out. I'm going to try and uh, get this restarted. Well, all right. Okay, so let me rinse this off. And while we're doing that, let me go ahead and take are <laughs> that was a good one all right we're going to take our omelet out all right wow i just want you guys to take a look at that what a beautiful omelet that we have ready and i'm going to go ahead and put that on our plate so let me dig it out now what I would like to do is, I would like to go ahead and put some cheese on it. All right. Some cheese on the top. All right. 
right, so we have our cheddar cheese. Go ahead and melt that nicely in there. All right, now I'm going to put it in for another couple of minutes. And let that cook at 350 bake. All right, and we'll put For about another five minutes. There we go. All right. So we're going to get back to our green beans. Jumping green beans, I should say. So let's go ahead and grab another one of our foil. We'll put that in there. All right. So our foil is ready. I'm going to grab. Oh. Thank goodness, nothing came flying at that time. All right, let's uh, go ahead and line our pan again. All right, there we go. I think that's about right. So we got our green beans ready to be painted, and there we go. So we've got that back in order. Put this away. All right, and then we are going to need a little bit more garlic. So I will take this garlic here. All right, so we're going to paint our green beans with olive oil. One more time. And uh, let's see here. We've got lots. Of cooking adventures. See, one of the things about cooking is you got to know how to laugh. And this is definitely one of those times. And let's go ahead and dig into our garlic. And just put some on the top there. And there we go. So just mix that in all nice. So now we're back. And we're back in business, everybody. All right. So, I'm gonna just toss a little bit of sea salt on there like we did before. All right. All right, so here we are. We're back with, in business with our French beans. And let me go ahead and take our omelet out. All right. So there we are. We have our beautiful omelet that we have prepared using our air fryer. What a wonderful looking meal that will be. Let me go ahead and put our green beans in and I will put our cover for the green beans. Like so, like we did before, and we're all set, ready to rock and roll, so to speak. All right, and we've got, just fold that in there and make sure that you got a nice little seal going on. Okay, and there we go. All right, so we're all set. We're going to go ahead and put it in our... 1700 watt air fryer by US Blue Wave. We're going to go ahead and set the setting to bake. There we go. And we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes. There we go. And press the button. And so easy, so simple. What a wonderful, wonderful utility that is, I'll tell you. So we've got our omelet ready. We have, which I want to go ahead and uh, show you the next exciting thing that we're going to have once I pick up the jumping green bean that was left here for me. All right, so I am thankful for your watching our YouTube channel. U.S. Blue Wave, oh, that was so good. 
the US Blue Wave YouTube channel. And also to remind you that you can buy the US Blue Wave 1700 watt air fryer for a very great price on Amazon.com. Please click your link below to subscribe. Please uh, remember that we are on right now that we are live. We have other episodes that we have that will uh, we have one for uh, for breakfast, we have one for lunch, and we have one for dinner, and now we have one for all three. So let's go ahead and go to our next item that we had in here. All right, we have. A nice glazed chicken. Now, this is using a recipe that is very, very difficult to make, but it has pepper and have a, it has a lot of uh, sweet to it. Speaking of sweet, how about those Dodgers? <laughs> So uh, obviously we're taping in sunny Southern California where it's about 115 degrees, but hopefully it's very comfortable where you are because right now it's super hot. We've got lots of, of uh, fires going on, unfortunately, and I hope that everything's working out really good for them. But right now we're having all sorts of fun in the kitchen and trying to make a very good healthy food for everybody who's interested in trying to Ooh, man, you know what? Speaking of which, I think I'm going to try the green one. Uh, to your life, to your health. Ooh, wow, that's healthy. And so now that we have our omelet, we're looking at our green beans bake. We're looking at now our chicken. Although we before the chickens, I want to go ahead and uh, share with you some of the functions and some of the features that um, the US uh, Blue Wave 1700 watt air fryer has. It has six accessories. Really just what a value that it comes with. You, it's got a 24.3 quart capacity. It has a light. It's 16 by 15 by 14, so it fits almost anywhere in your kitchen. It's way smaller than a microwave, but yet it has 1700 watts of cooking power. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing machine that every kitchen should have. Now, I'm um, getting back to the accessories. The accessories, you get six of them included with the price of the purchase. So there's a rotisserie, there's a baking rack, there's a baking tray, there's an air fryer basket, there's a fetch rack, and a crumb tray. Now again, we had uh, uh, 10 functions on our air fryer. It's as an air fryer, you can use it as an air fryer. You can make French fries, you can make toast, you can make uh, broil, you can bake, you can rotisserie, pizza, wings, French fry. Everything's great. Uh, there's so many different applications that you can have for this. You're saving money because you're not going to need to buy all those different items to make everything. You have one, an all-in-one in your kitchen. Now. One of, the, one of the great things about being a healthy eater is, uh, well, I guess I can't say that I'm the healthiest eater, but I like to eat a lot of uh, food. So I don't know if that's healthy eating, but um, I like to eat a lot of food. This is one of the, the results is that you get, a, you know, my mom and dad said to eat your green beans and you'll grow up big and strong. Well, I guess I did because <laughs> I'm a... Uh, eating my green beans and they will be done in about five minutes and I just can't wait. You know, the uh, growing up, I grew up in uh, a pretty small uh, town and as a person who's grown up in a small town, you all know that, uh, you know, there's, you never know who you're going to run into. So if there's anybody out there who recognizes me or who uh, is interested in uh, buying, uh, you know, write a check. Uh, oh, no, you know what? Actually, go on Amazon.com. I'm not sure that they take checks. <laughs> but, you know, 
uh, buy it. You know, say that you saw your friend, your buddy, your pal, your neighbor, your, you know, your Boy Scout leader. No, I wasn't ever Boy Scout. No, your your uh, high school coach, whoever it was that I met when we were down down the line in my lifetime, since I've lived quite a long life. Uh, I want you to go ahead and buy this. Say that you got it from me. Say I saw. Uh, I saw John Doe, he sold me my air fryer. I can't wait to get another one and get a bigger one, get a, get the two colors that we have because we have our stainless steel model. And let's see if we can get a close up on that. Our stainless steel model goes with most modern kitchens and some that aren't very modern. And it fits in, blends in so well with all modern and not so modern kitchens. And we wanted to make sure that the people who wanted uh, to not have such a modern kitchen, we have our white model, which is over uh, in this general direction <laughs> as we pan away from the machine. Here I am again. Our white model is the one that we see right here that we're actually cooking with. So that is our white version which can also go in any kitchen whether it be modern not modern it's all very very uh it supports either type of kitchen so we're going to check one more time again using our wonderful big window of opportunity there ah so we have three more minutes on our green beans. It's going to taste and smell so wonderful because it already does smell just amazing right now. Now, getting back to some of what we're doing with the chicken, since it's right here, we're going to put that on our baking pan, but we can do that in just a second. But this is the rack, the fry rack that we are telling you about. And that is wonderful for meats, it's wonderful for cooking, for air frying. And uh, again, this is a Asian sauce that has, it's a sweet and spicy. And you can find this type of uh, marinade in most Asian uh, supermarkets. Uh, kind of hard to find it in uh, the non-Asian, but it's really uh, worthwhile going to take that uh, trip to your local um, store to get that marinade. It's just it's really good. So uh, everybody's uh, got family. Everybody's related to somebody somehow. Everybody has a twin. I've heard that my twin is Dean Kane. Now, I don't know if I really believe in that, but boy, when I was younger, uh, it sure was hard to have people call me, hey, Superman. So um, I'm just glad that's over because he's not uh, as famous as he used to be. But uh, older people still remember him and say, hey, are you Dean King? And I say, no, I'm John Doe. And I want you to watch my YouTube show. Please support us. Click the link at the bottom of the YouTube channel. Make sure that if you want to keep seeing delicious food made in a healthy way with our 1700 watt air fryer by US Blue Wave, please click the link below, follow us, watch us, refer us, and buy your own and come and cook on these adventures with John Doe. All right, so we've got one more minute. Let's go ahead and click on the light one more time because I like clicking, punching, you know, beep, beep, beep. I love that stuff. Who does it? It's here, you know what, I am, Ah, see, look at what, are, what great timing this is. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the basket out. All right, so these have been baking for 10 minutes. So, we will show you the results. All right, so nice, green, crispy, beautiful. Mmm. Very healthy. And some people like them cooked a little bit more. 
Some people like them mushy. I really don't. So 10 minutes is about what you would want to have a nice, firm, crunchy bean. But if you like them softer, please do your own thing. But this is what I like, so this is what I'm showing you. I'm going to stick to it. And we'll go ahead and move this out of the way. All right. Now, we are going to have time to do just one more thing. We are going to get that. Hey, nothing jumped out at me. All right. You know, I wasn't going to do Kung Fu chicken until next time, but I think we have Kung Fu green beans right now. They came chopping right out. All right, here we go. We've got our salmon that we remember we made. We folded, we kind of sealed. And we're going to bake it. So we're going to bake it for 25 minutes, which is obviously way too long to have. Let me go ahead and move the function for one episode. All right, and we're going to go ahead and set it for 25 minutes. And we're going to go ahead and press the button there. And it's all set. We're all ready to go, and we have lots of food. One more time, I'm going to, to your health. Oh man, that's good, healthy. So remember folks, when we are, uh, we're gonna be uh, ending the show before we get to cooking the chicken and be of course before our salmon is done, but just remember what we're gonna do is we're going to put our meat on top of our wire rack. We're gonna go ahead and put it into the oven. So this is two pieces of boneless, skinless, chicken thighs and so I'm not exactly sure how much that weighs but probably about a quarter of a pound would be good enough for two people two pieces so that's good for people that are you know if you're gonna have a nice uh, dinner nice uh, you know you can even do it for lunch cut it up you can serve it with some white rice which is a, another great idea to do but once, we, uh, once you go ahead and cook that, you're going to put that on top of your baking rack. You're going to put it on the baking rack for uh, seven minutes. You're going to turn it over. And you're going to cook it for another eight minutes. You're going to put it at 450 degrees. And uh, once you're done, you're going to have some wonderful, beautiful, beautiful chicken. And it's going to be a, an amazing experience for you and your family. Try and do this together. Try and make these adventures uh, with your family, include the people that love you, and even if they don't like you, hey, why not? Get out of the meat. Don't kick them out. Tell them that you saw it here using the 1700 watt US Blue Wave air fryer, and tell them that John Doe told you so. So let's put this back in, and hopefully, you know, she can come back out. So just one, uh, just wanted to remind you, we are three dishes. We have our, we have our omelet, cheddar and onion omelet. We had our green beans, which look and smell absolutely amazing. These are the flying green beans, by the way. Well, the flying green beans are somewhere else, but these are the ones that didn't fly. And we have our baking salmon. Thank you. So thank you so much for tuning in to US Blue Wave's YouTube channel. I was your host, John Doe, and I hope you enjoyed our show. Oh, it's not over? Oh, well, then how about this? Let's think about something else. Um, I just can't. It takes that home. Yes. So, had a couple questions about the uh, the fish, the uh, salmon. The salmon is baked, so it's not fried. It's not put into something. 
it is actually going to take that long, 25 minutes for it to cook, because you do want to have it nice and well done. So unless they wanted, they want me to show some more things that we can do, we could actually do it. But hold on just a second. Let me take a taste of my delicious. Let's see. All right. Mmm, man, this is really good. I hope you all get a chance to try this. It's so good. Just absolutely great, crazy good. And I'm going to have another drink. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and show you how beautiful our beans came out. We're going to go ahead and Put them onto our plate. There we go. All right. And with our non-stick uh, features, it amazing cleanup. Just two minutes. You take that foil out. Look, there's absolutely nothing to scrub, nothing to cook, nothing splattered. You've had wonderful delicious food without having to clean up like most people have to once they serve their friends their family and give them a lot of food then next thing you know you're cleaning up for the rest of the day who likes that 1700 watts of cooking power gives you all sorts of possibilities and options just an amazing amazing thing for us to show you now i know that some people like a little bit more color and so I'm going to add a little bit more color to my creation there we go maybe a little bit more because I like onion although there we go okay there we go now I'm just adding onions we've got our beautiful omelet uh, so I wanted to let you know, since we're going to be ending our show very, very um, shortly, we're going to show you on our next exciting episode our cooked salmon, our baked salmon that we put in into our 1700 watt air fryer. And we'll have all sorts of fun doing the next three uh, recipes, including, don't forget, come back for my Kung Fu chicken. It's going to kick you in the face, kick you in the mouth. Everybody's going to be happy, and there's so many people who love it. And I am going to um, point to this, to our U.S. Blue Wave air fryer, the white, the stainless steel, and tell you thank you so much. Please tune in next time to see my how my baked salmon turned out. Thank you. Love you, honey. Bye now.